Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. That was dope. Ocho, uh, there are people had a lot, still, we're still in, um, people had a lot of comments about Kayla Williams after revealed pain and nail on the phone. Kayla Williams was in the building to show Juju Watkins, uh, Lady Trojans, his support. Mm-hmm. People immediately commented on his nails and his cell phone, which is pink. Well, Caleb had a message for them today. Let's take a listen to what Caleb had to say. Yeah. Nails are clear. Lips, lips are pink. Your, your girl love them. <laughs> 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 but they, they, they on the man. They on the man about about the pink pink phone case. Pink phone case. He had his nails painted. And, I, you know, the pink, did... listen. The, the pink. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, whatever with the pink. The whole nail painted. Hell, I got damn. I would I would paint my nails black back in two thousand two, with my with my little gothic look. Anytime anytime we had a game, right? It's so funny. I would I was in my little gothic era. You know, I would love a little emo, right? Goth, I, go, goth. It was goth. Hey, I had the black chin strap, right? Black chin strap, black cleats, black gloves, and I would paint my nails black. And I would go out there on some on some on some other s h i a t. I heard I can't curse because I don't feel like paying no fine. Where you put the a in it for? Huh? Why you put the A in it? I said S S H I T. No, you said S H A I T. Oh yeah, she at. You got to okay. say it right. Yeah, you got you got to carry it. She at. Yeah, just... The A is the A is silent, like all them damn words you've been giving me wouldn't be spelling. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, that, and listen, man. That's the, that's the era. That's the times that we in right now, man. You know, I ain't. I don't, I don't mean nothing, man. You know, it's you got oh, NBA Joe. players doing that. You got Caleb Williams doing that. I mean, Can you got have- my my weird, my weird, crazy A double S double S doing that way back 20 years ago. Oh, Can I ask you a question, Ocho? Yes, sir. When did men start caring about how men dress, what they wore, the pink nail, the pink phone? When did men become so obsessed with other men? I don't know. I don't know, Unc. I don't know, because I don't really talk about nobody, especially when it comes to attire or someone's appearance. What I got to I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't so, know. So, so did you pay? So, did you pay for that outfit? Nah, 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 nah. They don't even know Caleb Williams, and yeah, you know, and you know what they're getting at. You know what they tried to insinuate, Ocho. Right, 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 right. But right. see, that's in, in our community. Because here's the thing, Ocho. Let 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 let's have a little history lesson. Come on. We man. know since the beginning of the time. Yeah. Black men have been deemed ex- extremely masculine mm-hmm. of any more uh, any race of people. Extremely yeah. machismo, macho. Yeah. The biggest, they would have the biggest sometimes would sleep with because they wanted big offspring. Yeah. And so what what they've tried to do in order to emasculate you, insinuate, or even Mm -hmm. flat out call you, Mm -hmm. they know referring to a straight man is a derogatory term. Right. I don't care how accepting it is Mm -hmm. being gay, queer, LBGTQ, Mm -hmm. trans, it does not matter. Mm-hmm. A straight man will never ever accept being called gay, queer, zesty, fruity, whatever, as a compliment. Right. So this notion that means you've that means you've made it. That means you've ascended to the highest. Mm-hmm. A straight man is not going to accept that. Right. He's but, not. And then, then what you have to understand also, on what you have to understand is you can do certain things in today's society and today's era that aren't masculine, but aren't seen as masculine and anything outside of the norm on what we're used to seeing from straight masculine men, then you're considered just that the opposite mm-hmm. of what a straight man would actually do. Right. Yeah. And, and sometimes everybody is free to do as they please now in times. Are no, we got to, we got to, but see, that's what, see, that's what yeah. social media comes in at. Yeah. Times because are a little what, different. People are a little bit more eccentric. A lot people, are a little bit more, more open to expression. Yeah. Not artistic expression, you know, whatever you might want to call yes. it. I don't know how to word it the right way. Right. And I mean, it, it is what it is. Hell, I did it 20 goddamn years ago. And well, no, nobody said nothing because I was just, I was a weirdo anyway. And I did all type of crazy. I had blonde, blonde mohawk, mouth full of goals, my, my nails painted black. I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't care. Shit, I wouldn't, but I, it's just for certain other people that it might affect or it might bother. I mean, they say it because they're not used to seeing the individual do but those certain what, things. 
but when you go back and listen to these great fashion, you look at you listen to the Carl Lagerfelds or, or the uh, uh, um, um, who are Leon Talley, and you listen mm-hmm. to people that the Tom Fords and the people that's been in fashion. Mm-hmm. They say fashion is an expression of oneself, mm-hmm. not conforming to the norm. Well. All, all men, y'all should dress like this if you straight. All men, if you gay, should dress like this. All women, if you this, you do this. Right. I thought it was self-expression. Yeah. Now it's gotten to the point that they want you to conform to the masses or what they deem right. is acceptable. Right. How do you get to determine what's acceptable mm-hmm. for someone else? Mm-hmm. Your norm is not someone else's norm. So right. why do you, it seems like to me, all these men that be saying all this stuff, mm-hmm. it seems like y'all cast it. Yeah. It seems like y'all have something. You know what one of the one of the best feelings is in being free is when you're free from having to be normal. When you're free and being able to express yourself however yeah. you feel. When you, don't wor- when you don't worry or care about how others think, but yeah. there are so many that are stuck in that box that want to walk that straight line and not veering outside of that box or outside of that lane where they just look like everybody else. Everybody wearing the same outfit. Everybody wearing the same clothes. Everybody wearing the the same You see the movie Gattaca. Everybody got the same goddamn car. And Mm -hmm. it's it's just, I think you won't, you would never understand or free yourself from the shackles of the rest of the crowd until you figure out a lane for yourself, find your own niche and do what makes you happy or what you like to do. But everybody want to, okay, whatever's in, Okay, I'm gonna do what everybody else is doing. All you, all it has, all it takes is one person to say something on Twitter mm-hmm. or social media, and guess what? The next thing, somebody, yep, I, I was thinking the same thing. Yep, yeah. you right, yeah. you right, and then boom, 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 yeah, boom. They, and they, next they, thing they, you know, they, they, it's gonna, trending or it's viral. Yeah, they 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 they're gonna piggyback, but that is that's what you got to have that you got to have that ultra mentality. You got to have that ultra mindset, man. You know, I don't give two two s h i a t. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care what you say. Yeah, I, at all. I, 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 I love it. I've always loved it. You got to think. Yeah. I mean, you were part of the me. You, you were with the media when I was playing, weren't you? Uh, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you remember how y'all, how they used to kill me? I talked about, I talked about people play. If hey, you okay. play good, I say I talk good. Well, you play you bad, I talk bad. Wait, well, you know what? If you hey, if you talk about my play, you was always talking good about me then. That, that's that's all, it. That's, that's all I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously, you, you, you know you know what I mean. They yeah, found, no, for they, sure. They, they, oh, they would nitpick and they would find any little thing. And I loved yeah. it. Unk, I enjoyed being the villain. I embraced it. I was very passionate about it. I didn't want you to like me. Even if it was personal. Skip. Oh, skip. Oh, boy, skip. You hey, beat you I, up? Oh, What? I loved it. I loved it. I just, I embraced it and I, I enjoyed it. And it just, I, I don't know. It's just weird how people allow words or, or, or things people say bother them. Like, it's supposed to be like water off a duck's back in one ear and out the other. It shouldn't yeah. affect you at all. It, it Being, just shouldn't. It shouldn't. How does someone's words really bother you? Like, think about it. How can what somebody's saying on Twitter that you don't know a stranger that ain't feeding you the three F's. I'm not even going to say the three F's because I'm trying mm-hmm. not to curse tonight. Yeah. How does that bother you? So I, it never understood me when people, oh my God, they're, they're, um, they're bullying me. Bitch, what? Oh shit. I mean, bully what? How? <laughs> it's the internet. Log the fuck off. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. Yeah. It took me Ocho being out. And the being out, and when I'm in these environments, with this type of setting where I'm doing stuff for La Portier, yeah, or I'm going to speaking engagements, yes, sir. And I see the love, and I see women, mm. and I see men so excited that they're trembling to have a conversation. They're like, I just want to, I just want, and to hear people say, "Bro, let me tell you what I love about you." He said, "I love the candidness in which you speak." He said, "I love the way you rock with your community, and I love how you talk about your family." Mm. And to hear people in all different races Mm -hmm. come up to me and say, I love everything there is about you. I love the man that you are. I love the way you carry yourself. I love how you talk about your kids and your Mm -hmm. family. I love how, you know, you talk about team. Man, Ocho, man, I say, you know what? And by the way, you know what my sister told me? My sister, you tell me, uh, I think about about seven years ago, talk about Shannon. Get some bigger clothes. Now, you know, <laughs> hey, Ocho, 
Everybody know everybody know how I love my sister. Yeah. I talk about my sister damn near in the same breath I talk about my grandma. Right, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No can't do. Listen, I if people people need to understand, Unc, you have a you you like a European style, a European style, whether mm-hmm. it's casual or whether it's business, and you yeah. stick to that, and you've always yeah, stuck that. to that. Yeah. And I'm gonna stick to it. You've never, you, you, it's, there's no need. If to it would, I want to change. That's I will like. change because I want to change. Right, right. But it ain't right. gonna be no time soon. Nah, nah. I mean, no, y'all ain't buying no clothes, and y'all don't tell me what to wear, how to dress, because yeah. I ain't listening. Hey, and you know what? And today, and and actually, we you know with fashion, you know fashion changes every yes. three years. You know, yeah. now we now we back to the baggy look that we were oh, back, I in 05, try, okay. back in I 05. thought about it. I thought about you know what I saw. Hold on, who I saw? I saw LeBron one time. I saw, but I've seen it a lot lately. Yeah. But they get the pants; they're a little fitted, and yeah. then they got the wide. They got the flare Wild, legs yeah. at the bottom, like, like the seventies. Yeah. That, that was hey. when I was a kid. You know who be killing? You know who be killing it? That I mean, they be dressing like you know. I'm not in the fashion. You know, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm a cheap I'm a cheap mofo. Goddamn. Young bull from uh OKC. OKC. Oh, yeah. Shea Gilgis. Oh man, listen, boy, Young Bull be killing it, boy. Yeah, Young Bull be killing on it. it. And what's the other one from the Jazz? I think he wear double zero or he wear zero from the Jazz. Uh oh oh, uh, Jordan Clarkson. Hey, um, but them two there. But See, when it comes to you... fashion, you know, I ain't really, I ain't no fashion head or no. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Every what once once every six months I put some clothes on. But them two there? Oh, they be on it. Man, boy. Oh, they, 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 be boy, on hey, it, boy. they be they be they be on it. Uh 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 man, you know, Ocho, but when you when you thin like that, you can yeah. hey you can wear a lot of stuff, man. Cause yeah, 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 thin. yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I ain't buying no, I can't buy nothing off the rack. I ain't gonna get nothing but the clothes hanging out of the department store. <laughs> that was the only thing I could get up out of the department. Right, right. Oh, so man. Yeah. I've I've, I've got a relegated, I've got a relegated to have leisure or custom. Right. right. Damn, Uncle, you, all your shit got to be custom. Yeah, like my, my my stuff that I wear on 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 first take. Oh, that every jacket, custom. every shirt. Yeah, yeah, is custom. okay. Yeah, yeah. Just my slacks custom. Now jeans, I can get like a a a, a size thirty eight jean mm-hmm. and have the waist taken in. Right, but but I got to go three you know three four sizes up as mm-hmm. far as in my waist, right? And just so my legs are fit. Yeah. But, yeah, I, got, but uh, I, got, I got I got one for you. Now I don't I don't at? know I don't know where you shop. I don't know if you do this, but I'm I'm telling you where I get my jeans from. I get my jeans from Target. You know about Goodfellow and Company? No, I never heard of them. Man, listen, I get my jeans from Target, Goodfellow and Company. Now, there was a time where you could get skinny jeans, you could get slim fit, or you can right. get wide leg. And right. so what I used to do when the time, you know, there was a time where everybody had skinny jeans and they yeah. had the knees cut out and it yeah. looked like they went to stress a little bit. Yeah. Hell, I wasn't paying no eighteen, thirteen hundred for some of them jeans. They yeah, had. man, some of the jeans. For, so, uh, so uh, this yeah, what I did. You know, I went, to, like four man, man. I went to Target. I went to Target and got me some um the good fella jeans and cut the got cut the knees out and cut the knees out and make it look like they were the stra- I made them look like they was a Mary's, but they was really good fella and company. I paid twenty dollars for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Look at look at look at these look at these two. <laughs> hey, what's up? Say what's up, Don. What's up, Don? What's Say what's up, Unc? Say Unc. I don't know Don. Who is Don? Say what's up, Unc? What's up, Unc? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you got? How you got girls doing? Good, good. Good. What y'all doing up this time of night? It's been way past oh, y'all oh, bedtime. Unk, we we on spring break. We on spring break. Oh, okay. We'll stay up all night. I'm doing schools, and tomorrow, tomorrow I have school, but I'm not going to school. So I'm so I'm wait, you so cr- yo, you, no, you can't snitch on yourself. You did snitch. You're what? not supposed to say you don't have school. I just said you're on spring break and you gonna tell him you got school. You ain't on spring break. Spring break. <laughs> you on spring break, man. She, she don't she don't know no better. That this this is Cha Cha and Kennedy. Well, I have that's I'm okay. Saying, I All right, I gotta finish the show. Kisses, kisses, kisses. All right. <laughs> I love you too. Yeah, that's that, that, that's hey, that's that's two. That's that's baby Kennedy and her sister Cha Cha. That's uh two of two of the eighty five of my tribe. Two, that's the two of the eighty five clan. Yeah, that's that's two of the eighty five. And I'm <laughs> I'm 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 looking to I'm looking to add to that. Um, for any fathers out there, 
Uh, Felo Speak said Caleb is trolling at this point because he knows people will talk. Shout out to Caleb. Prince wore the yeah. F out of uh, he wanted to, and nobody said a thing. True, true, true.